kitty cat. Hey guys, it's Anna and today's a super exciting video where I show you guys how to make these cute little guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's get to 20k. Um, let's get on to the video. Alrighty guys, so first you're gonna start with one band and one hook. It's gonna be one band all the way around for the whole video, so yeah, unless if I say otherwise, so make sure you always have one band, not two. So you're going to start off with one band and a hook. You're going to put it on your hook and wrap it around one, two times. So there's a three loops. You're going to grab a one band, go through, put it on your hook, and thread it through this band. Then you're going to put that band back on the hook. Grab the cap band that you just made like this. And you're going to slip it through like a slip knot. Like so. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of like on a cold. <coughs> now once you've finished that, you're going to go through back into the cap band. Grab one band. Go through the cap band. Only the first three bands. And put it back on your hook. Grab the cap band and slip it through the three bands. Through the cap band, grab your band, just through the first three bands, aka the cap band, put it back on your hook, and slip knot it through. If you guys are having a little bit of trouble with this, make sure you go look at my, make sure you go look at my video up there. Make sure you look at my video up there. Um, I have a I have a beginner's guide for Lumigurumi, so make sure you guys go check that out. If you guys are having a little bit of trouble, a little bit of trouble. If you guys are having a little bit of trouble, if you guys are having a little bit of trouble with this, so yeah. Now you're gonna grab another band to continue. First three bands back on the hook, slip through two, like so. Go back into the magic ring or cap band, go through, back on the hook, slip through the last two bands. I'm going to do that one more time. Through the hook, through the band, sorry, through the cap band, through, back on your hook and slip through. So now you have one, two, three, four, five, six on your hook. And now we can start on our second row. So. I also forgot to mention that you might need a little um, S clip or C clip. Um, I'm just going to use a C clip. I'm just going to use a C clip, but this is for like tracking your rows. So because this is row one, you need to put um, a, they call it a stitch marker. So you're just going to put it on the band on your hook. I like this. So it's like that. Alrighty. So now we can get on to the second um, row. So now you're going to go through. So this time you're going to go through this stitch right here. So instead of going through the cap band, going through the stitch on the side. So the two bands that are making a V. <coughs> Grab your band. Going to slip it through just the first two bands. Put it back on your hook and slip through the last two bands. You're going to do this again in the same exact stitch, so the same exact V. Go through, put it on your hook, and slip knot the other two bands. You're going to move on to the next stitch, so this one right here. Go through, put it on your hook, slip through, back into the same stitch, Band through on the hook and slip through. Move on. Slip through, back in. And these are called double crochets or double stitches. <clears throat> Doing this all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. Go 
last stitch, slip through, back in, and now you're going to grab your stitch marker and put it back on the hook, or back on the band that's on your hook. Alrighty, so as you can see, it's getting a little bigger, which is super cool. Um, yeah, now we're going to go through the band for the third row. Just going to go through normally. And instead of doing two, we're just going to do one. So one stitch here. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do two. So one, and then go back into the same stitch and do two. Next, one, and then two. One, and two. Keep going until you get back to your stitch marker. And if you need to check which, how many you've done in each stitch, so how you check that is if you pull right here, you'll find slip knots. So this is one stitch in that hole. So that's one. Here there's two. So there's two of them. That's only one. That's two, so that means I've done one, then two, now I have to do one. And that is practically how you know how to do that. So, next would be one. The next two. And sometimes I forget as well, so it's all good, but if you want to try to be as quick as possible, make sure you just try to focus and remember. Last one will be two, one, two, stitch marker, put it back, oh, that just fell on the floor, can I get that back, grab a new one, and put that back on your stitch, I mean your, your band, I keep getting this mixed up. Alrighty, so now we have something that looks a little like this. And for the next row, what we're going to do is instead of doing one and then two, one and two, you're going to do one, one, two, one, one, two. So again, go into the stitch, one, next stitch, one, and two in the next stitch. One, two, one, one in the next, then two. I'm gonna grab my bands. It's a bit easier to reach them. One. One. Two. So it's practically single crochet, single crochet, double crochet. If you're in the crochet sort of terms, if you guys crochet, that is so awesome. If you guys didn't know, crocheting does help Lumigurumi so, so much. And I kind of started doing Lumigurumi first and then I moved on to crocheting. So they both help out um, if you're either coming from crocheting and doing Lumigurumi or the other way around. So it really does help. 
crocheting just with yarn. It's the exact same thing, but just with bands. So, Lumigurumi is awesome. Everybody knows that. One, one, two. And then one. One. And then you should finish with two because we started with one, one. So one and oop, two. Got a notification probably from Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on my Instagram page, make sure you do. It's at Kitty Calum official. Um, definitely go follow that because I do a lot of posts and um, I do feature a lot of my Luma squad on my um, account. So make sure you go follow me there. Anyways, so now that you put your stitch marker on the hook, on the band on your hook, now we can move on to the next row. So we have two more rows until the I band or I um, row, I guess. So um, now you have two more rows until the eyes, so just keep that in mind. So now you're going to grab, um, go into the, blah, 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 go into the band, the stitch, blah, blah, blah. I'm so like delusional right now. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so now we only have two more rows until the eye row, so make sure you guys keep that in mind. But um, now instead of doing one, one, two, you guessed it, we're gonna do a one, 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 two, one, 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 two. Okay, so again, go through and do one and one again. Then one again. So three ones and then double. Now you're gonna do two, one and a two. One, one, and one, and two, just check that, yep. <clears throat> a while. I'm still not a professional Luma groomy Luma, but I'm trying. It's really hard to like go fast and not stuff up. It takes a lot of concentration. One, one, one. That means two. But this is a really great design for beginners who um, want to learn how to do Lumigurumi and create amazing designs. So this is just one. I do also have a tutorial on um, a Lumigurumi bracelet, which is also super great for um, learning how to Lumigurum. Is that a word? <laughs> Lumigurumi. Loom, how to loom, how to loom, loom a style, and it's this bracelet right here. I'll link it in the iCard if you guys want to have a look. But um, it's such a cool design. 
it's so so pretty as well you guys should definitely go get it go make it if you're a Lumi Groomy fan so yeah so now you're gonna grab stitch marker pop it back on and now we are finished with our um our expanding sort of uh thing that we're doing right now <laughs> i don't i'm really bad at explaining but um now we're going to just go through all of the stitches at once so it's just going to be a single crochet through all of them instead of doing like one 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 double one 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 it's just going to be one 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 sorry it's just going to be one one um all the way around so yeah that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Ooh, ooh. Ba -da -bum. <laughs> so this is the size that kind of the little birdie's gonna be. The bird is so cute. I love it. I like just randomly made it one day and I was just like, yo, that's pretty cute. Then I think I showed it in one of my videos and then someone was like, you should totally do a tutorial on that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure. Whoops. So, um, here it is. The tutorial. Yay. Boom, 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 boom. I also hope the background, like the... This is a really nice blanket that I have on my bed, so I hope it's not distracting. I think it's a super pretty background, so um, yeah, it's a little more interesting than just plain white on my desk. So I was like, hey, spice it up a little bit. You guys know what I mean? You're just going to keep doing one all the way around, all the way around. Anyway, finish. Got two more. And last but not least, don't forget the last. And move your stitch marker as well. Come on. It's a little bit hard sometimes. Hey, thanks. And there we go. Here's a little top of the um, little birdie. And now we're ready for the next row. I said. So grab your beads. Here I'm using these sorts of beads. They're like super super cool because they're like kind of rounded. They're not like normal beads. So grab two. Or of course you can use just oh, oh, ah I just dropped that again. Um of course you can just use two um black bands and do a cat band, kind of like how we did the magic ring, but just put it on two bands. But instead, I'm going to just slip through one band through each bead. Like so. So now we have two beads. And get back your design. And I'm going to go through the first band once, second, 
two, third, three, fourth, four, ah, uh, and five, and then six. So stitch six stitches in. You're gonna go through the next one. This might be a little bit tricky, but I grab, sorry, this is like my knee. <laughs> so I grab my band like this, slip it through, pop it on just like a normal band and slip it through. So it's like that. And you're gonna go through the next stitch. You're gonna do six again, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now go through the next stitch, grab your band with the bead on it, and go through, hook, slip like so and now as you can see here i'll just focus as you can see here the bead is kind of like hidden so who through these two bands here which is kind of like a v you're gonna slip it through like so and it should kind of twist this way naturally kind of like that so it's not fully straight but it's kind of on the side so like that and as we do the next sorry I just focus again as we do the next band just do six for how many it takes to get to the end four five Six, and then just go back and as you can see there's the two bands coming down just gonna separate them and push their little eyes through look how cute oh my gosh that looks so cute and he hasn't even finished it okay and then you're just gonna go through and single stitch it all the way until your um <clears throat> stitch marker <clears throat> it'd be so cute if you could do like a yellow one of these oh that would be adorable I was going to but I don't have many yellow bands so just thought I may as well do green, a little green baby. And I have done a green one, but I kind of failed. So I wanted to try again. Get this one right. Last stitch and go through. Slip and put your stitch marker back on to that band like so and of course now we don't have to worry about the eyes so just leave them there um it might be a bit tricky but as we get to them i'll show you guys what to do and um by the way guys we also do the feet and the beak um and the wings at the end so don't expect us to do it um while we're looming we're just going to finish the body design and then come back to it as we do the other external um features so now we're going to continue and i'll do one row with you so a single band single stitch all the way around it's a weird band And as we get to the eyes, make sure you do this one right here. 
oops, sorry, I'm like out of frame. I'll zoom in a little bit just so you guys can see. So make sure you do this one that's right here as a normal stitch. And that's normal, but as soon as you get here, you have to remember if you stretch it out, there's one stitch right here for the eyes. So it might look extremely small, but it's right there. Make sure you guys don't miss it. It's not a big deal if you do, but it's really good too. And go on. As you were. One single band all the way around. Just keep it going. Keep it coming, keep it coming. <clears throat> and as we get to the second eye, again, remember this baby right up here. And then the tiny stitch that's just to the side of the eye. Like that. So as you can see, it's kind of gotten... We've kind of passed the hard bit, I guess. Even though it's just kind of easy from here. And you're going to go through one single stitch all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. Woo! But I really like this design because it's like super fun and um, is a good way to practice your lumigurumi because we just do a lot of single stitches and that ultimately helps with your technique and pra practice. Oop. Just said that and I messed up. And nearly lost one. Boop. And beepity boop. Bop bop. Yay! Now grab your stitch marker and chuck it on this baby. And like so. Look at you so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. You can like put it on top of the other one. Oh, that is so cute. Alrighty guys, so now that you've finished that row, we are going to go through and smash out three more rows the exact same way, one stitch in each stitch um, all the way around. So again, I'm going to go through and just do one stitch in each and you're going to do that for three rows. I'm going to start recording now and um, I hope you come back with those three rows done. So I'll leave you guys to it and come back to the video when you're done. Alrighty guys, so um, I have finished doing the eye. Alrighty guys, so I finished doing the three rows. I hope you have two. A good job if you did. And um, now you're going to go and continue on with our rows. So from here, we're going to need to decrease. And by doing that, instead of like doing two stitches in one, we're going to conjoin stitches, if that makes any sense. But first, as I said, we're going to go through the first band. I'm going to do one, two, and then on the third and fourth, you're going to grab the First, instead of going through the two bands of the two stitches, you're just going to grab one and then two on the other side of the other stitch and slip knot it. 
I will just um, go a little bit closer to the camera this time so you guys get to have a look. So go through not all of the stitches but just the first. So the first band of the first stitch and into the second band of the second stitch. So now it's just two bands and you're just going to treat this like a normal stitch. So two bands and slip it like that. And that is practically what you're gonna do for the next um, row. So, one, two, and slip, knot it, one, And two, conjoin, one, two, join. Need some more bands. One, two, ah, conjoin. One. You guys get the picture. Just gonna keep going till you get to your stitch marker. Woo! I sound so enthusiastic. Unenthusiastic. Quick, quick, quick. Don't lose that fire, you guys. I gotta keep going. Gotta keep powering through. And then you're just gonna finish off. like so. so ta da and as you can see we're kind of like narrowing in a little bit and it looks a little weird because it doesn't have um his little beak but we're getting there so it's a little bit like this okay we're gonna do that one more time and then i think we're gonna add on the other features so um but this time of course instead of Oh, but yeah, we're just going to do the same thing, sorry. And don't forget to do your stitch marker. Okay, so, one, and a two, then conjoin, Um, I keep going out of frame because I'm just so focused. Okay, 
and join and no one in the Finished off with one. Coolio. Oh, don't want to lose that. And that pop your Sip not on like so. Great. We got them like this. Alrighty, so now we're going to move on to how to make the beak. And how you do that is you're going to grab a one single band, put it on your hook, and wrap it around it three times so that there's a four loops. On your hook, grab another band and do the exact same thing. Grab it three times, there's four loops. Now you're going to grab two bands and instead of just putting it on, you're going to just put it on and wrap it around once. So wrap it around once like you're doing a cat band, but stop there. And you're going to grab these four bands. Make sure you grab all of them. It's a little tricky because I have really slippery jelly bands. But grab all of them like this and you're just going to thread them through. Like so. And now, if you have another hook, this will be a lot easier instead of using your finger. So I'm going to try to find another one of my hooks. So here I have another hook and I'm going to put this hook in these bands like so. So now you kind of have it kind of like this and these are the two parts of the beak. So sorry that was kind of out of the frame but yeah as I said there's like two sides of the beak and this one it gets a little bit tricky but you're gonna grab two bands and you're gonna go on the hook or any side of the hook and wrap it around once. Grab all the bands, pull it through, put it back on the hook. Do the exact same and switch over to the next hook. Grab two bands, wrap it around once, grab all of the bands, so it'll be four bands, and thread it through that other four bands. So now we have this sort of contraption. Um, grab another two bands and what we're going to do is first pull this side back onto this hook like so and then you can flip that off and then grab two bands like so and you're going to pull all of this through onto those two bands like so. So now we have the beak and now that we have the beak we're going to put it on straight away. So grab your design and kind of put your hook in to your um, hand. And you can even grab your other hook, but we're going to start trying to go in the middle here. So if you count one, two, three down the center, it'll be right here. So we're going to try to go a bit lower. So one, two, three, and you're going to go down one, two, so one, two. And this is where we're going to put the um, beak. So go through this, the, there's two holes here. So if you go again, one, two, three across, and then one, two down, 
there's going to be one hole here and one hole here. So go through this first hole and you're going to put on the beak like so. Oops, don't want to lose it. And you're going to pull that through. This is kind of a little bit tricky. And then bring this one to the side. Oh shoot, I lost that. Try to get that back. So if you guys, you guys will get what I'm trying to do soon. But then now you're going to go through to the other side of the beak. And that will be this side. So thread it through. And now you're going to grab the remaining bands on that hook and thread it through it like so and then now you're going to grab one of your band of your body colour and thread it through to tie a slip knot so now the beak is attached like so So now the beak is attached and um, he looks so cute, doesn't he? Hello. Um, now I can make the wings. <coughs> so the wings will be the same colour as your bird. But how we're going to do this is you're going to grab one band and go through and it just do a little cap band. So Wrap it around three times to get four loops. And we're going to grab three bands this time. So changing not one band, but three bands. And you're going to pull it through those three bands. And kind of try to center it a little bit as well. Like so. Grab another three bands. And now I'm kind of like using this <laughs> different hook. And you're going to wrap, you're going to, sorry, flip through again. And you're going to do that one last time. Like so. So now we have a little tiny wing. Um, wing there. And then you're going to grab two bands and flip it like this. So now this is your little tiny wing. And now you can go to the side. It might be a bit hard to do it now. So what I recommend is to kind of wait until we kind of do a little bit more on the bird before we start. But you're going to do that again so that we can have two um, wings, of course. One, two, and a three, and then two bands to finish off. Like that. So now we have these two wings for each side. And now may as well do the little tiny wing feet. So how we do that, it might be a little bit tricky, kind of like the beak, but you're going to one band, wrap around three times, so there's four loops, and you're going to grab just one band this time. So one band, you're going to double it, and put these four bands on that doubled single band, like so. Now you're going to do that again, so double it, one single band. And a flip it through. Can do that one last time. One band doubled, pull it through, like so. Now we're going to do this part two other times. So then there's three little tiny um, fingers or kind of claws, I guess. Or what are they called? Little feet. <laughs> just feet so double a band grab those two bands 
and flip it through. Do that three times like a single chain. Like that, so that's a two, and we do that one more time. Try to make sure there's enough space on your hook. So just kind of push it down a little bit. And remember this is all at single bands, because we like to make it all nice and tight and cute and tiny. That's one. It's a little bit hard for me because as I said, I have stupid jelly bands. They're really cool. I love jelly bands, but not when you're working with the hook. Last time. Alrighty, wait, come on, <laughs> the struggle, and flip it through like so. Now we have three little tiny weeny um, finger thingies, I don't know what they're called, I swear they're called something. Then you're going to grab two bands and flip them all on to that same two bands. Like that, you can let go, so now you have two little feet and... The worst thing is, is that we have to do that again because he has two feet, obviously. So again, four and two. Flip it and pop it back on the hook. Sorry if it's getting a little bit dark, if the lighting's changed. I'm not sure if it is or not, but it's just because it's the end of the day. So that's kind of why. Whoops, I did that wrong. So yeah, just do the exact same thing, make a little finger, I'm just going to do it on the side because it's a bit easier for me, but if you guys need to um, know how to do it again, just rewind, and a big tip is to um, slow down the video, YouTube has this thing where you can change the speed, so if you need some help, then just speed down that video but I'm just continuing on with the feet it's quite hard you've got to concentrate and ensure that you're grabbing all the bands so there's no mix-ups and as I said that I just stuffed up <laughs> That's okay. We are here to learn. Now I'm on to the last finger. Two bands. It's getting pretty late. This tutorial has gone on for a little while. That's okay, it'll be worth it in the end. As everything is when you're leaning. That feeling of leaning and finishing something is literally the best thing. You guys should definitely check out my newest video, which is What Leaners Love About Looming, or um, whatever the title is. But it's a really funny video. Alrighty, so I finished the three little tiny weeny tiny weeny Thingies. I think they look so cute. <clears throat> Two bands. I'm going to slip it on like so. And then we got little feet. Alrighty. So you can get rid of those orange bands. Oh, for now. I literally just, whoops, and now we can grab our body colour, or the feather colour, if you kind of are being logistic, or whatever, um, you're going to go through, and this time, we're going to do one single, 
one single. And then slip. So it's practically the same thing as how we did it last time, which is two singles and then a decrease. Where you grab the two um, little, what's it called, stitches. So like one, <clears throat> two, like so. And then slip knot it through. One, two, slip knot it through. One, two. So run it through and continue until you get to your stitch marker. As you can see, our design is getting smaller and smaller. Move your stitch marker if you can, like so. Look at him. He's so cute. The beak kind of looks a little low. Maybe I should move it a bit higher, but I think it's fine for now. Now you're going to do one single in the next stitch. And we're going to close it quite quickly now. So next one's going to be a decrease. So it's one single, one decrease. But before we kind of go on, we might need to add the little um, thingos. So continue on with your row first. One, and then slip knot or decrease. Two. Slip knot, decrease, one, and just finish off with one, stitch marker, and change your stitch marker, like so. Great. So now you can remove your hook. And we're nearly done, don't worry, our bird is nearly finished. We might need to fix up the eyes a little bit as well. But now we're going to move and put on the little wings. So just kind of move to the side. It can be kind of one, two down, and then one, two across. And poke your hook through. Grab one band. Oop, that just fully went off. Okay, so we're going to do it like this. So as you're putting on your bands, you have to remember to put one hook in one side like so. It's a lot easier this way, but if you don't have two hooks, it's okay. So again, you're going to put one on your finger, come through, poke a hole, one, two, three down, two across. So it should be around here. And you're just kind of wanting to eyeball it as well. And the goal is just to get both inside and then poke a hole through again and grab the other side and then pull it in under. And then as you do that, you'll just slip knot it. It's a little bit messy here. And 
but we have the little wing. That wing seems to stick out a lot, but we can fix that up later. And now we're going to go back through to the other side and grab this wing. It seems as though it's come undone. And then grab one hook and pop it in one side. Then in the other, use your finger. Go through the side, one, two, down, one, two, across. It's around here. Pull it through. And then go around two bands across again and grab this part of the um, band like this. Grab a one single band, slip knot it. Oop. And slip knot it through. It's okay if the inside's a little bit messy because that's where we don't see anything. So here he is. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, so that's kind of how it looks like at the moment. The bottom has completely gone under. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's not good. I'm just going to have to fix that up. Oh no, that is not good at all. I'm going to have to catch up here. <sighs> Alrighty, so I've kind of fixed that a little bit up. So if it does get undone, make sure you just start from where your stitch marker was and um, go around from there. Um, but now, once we've finished that, we can kind of start stuffing. But before that, I wanted to try to put those wings down a little bit to tame them a little bit because... He seems to want to fly away. So if you want, you can even keep that on there so it doesn't fall off again. And put your wings down kind of like that. I kind of like it like it's about to fly off. But if you didn't want that and you wanted to kind of tame it, you can always try to grab these two bands and just kind of, yeah, like how I did that, you're going to just grab and kind of push it towards there so it's coming down. But we can kind of play with them a little bit once we've finished stuffing it up. So I'm just going to get some stuffing. I'm not sure where I'm going to get some from. Um... I'll just use my cushion that I'm sitting on, I guess. So I got some stuffing, all right, with me. And you might need a lot, kind of depends. You're going to open the bottom of the design and shove them in. We're nearly done, guys. Don't worry. There we go. He looks much better now. Just kind of put, put some in, see how you go. Kind of smoosh it around in there. Kind of like that. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. And then now we can continue on with our row here. So I've kind of neglected my little stitch marker because it doesn't really matter. But from here, you're just going to go through single 
and okay guys so what i realized is that that completely deleted and i can't get back the footage and i literally wasn't filming that whole time because my camera switches off so that is super duper annoying but of course i've already finished it and um this is what it looks like and guys for the bird's feet i forgot to put this in there but i did the same exact method for the wings and the beak so do the exact same thing um, from where you want the feet to be and you can just kind of guesstimate um, where it would be. So um, I did the same exact thing for the method um, I did for the beak and the wings. So remember with the hook and the finger and slip knotting it through in the design. So make sure you guys do that before you fully close up and you should be good. Yeah, okay, back to the video. I finished the bottom by continuing doing two single stitches and then one decrease so one stitch one stitch then the two can join it and slip and then I did that until I finished and it looks a little bit messy here but it always is a little bit messy at the bottom kind of like this one as well but yeah I'm so so sorry guys that was so annoying and my voice is literally dying I'm still sick, so I'm so, so sorry about that, but, um, that's kind of what I have to do. Um, and this is the design. If you guys wanted this to kind of come down, you could always slip knot it, like, this. Slip knot the side like that. <clears throat> Grab the two, slip knot it like so so now it's kind of down like that and then hide the slip knot and then you can always do the same thing for the other side so down grab the four bands as a cat band and slip knot it. And then hide that band. Like so. And then here is your little birdie. And again, what I kind of did is you kind of need to slip knot a little bit, get rid of all the bands. And I forgot to mention I also stuffed it and then I closed it up. <clears throat> So before you do these, um, after you do all the, th all the external factors, what am I saying? External um, body parts, then you move on to here. And before you close it up, you stuff it with stuffing. So be sure you do that. Anyways, guys, I finished the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully were able to make these. I'm so, so sorry that I wasn't able to... Um, Finished the last bit, that was really frustrating and I got really upset, but I hope you guys were still able to make these and finish these guys off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys later. Bye!